Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy, and today we'll be taking a look at a checklist that you can use to check over your own writing for your high set, GED, or task tests. Now, when writing an essay, what things should be on our checklist? Well, grammar, spelling, length, content, clarity, and quality are the areas we're going to look at today. For grammar, there are four questions you can ask yourself. Do my subjects and verbs agree? Are all of my sentences complete? Did I use correct punctuation? And am I missing a word anywhere? These things are good to check over by reading your passage out loud again. And you may even be able to whisper it to yourself during a test or mouth the words if you can't speak out loud. But doing that helps you go over and see if you missed any of these key things. Now for spelling and capitalization, you can ask yourself, did I choose the correct spelling for the word that I'm using? Are the beginnings of all my sentences capitalized? And did I capitalize the proper nouns? Now, this may not catch every single thing, but this catches some really major possible mistakes and will help to improve your writing overall. For the length, you can ask, is my writing clearly four to six paragraphs, including an introduction and conclusion? And is each paragraph three to seven sentences long? These are good guideposts for knowing if you've added enough information. Now, I would encourage you not to do the bare minimum. So writing four paragraphs of only three sentences each is still going to be very slim for one of these essays. But if you have a variety, maybe some paragraphs are three sentences, others are six or seven, and maybe you have five or six paragraphs overall, that could be a good balance with this. Now for the content, you can ask yourself, did I provide a clear claim? Did I provide evidence from the original texts that were provided? And did I provide examples and explanations for why I support this claim? So these are really important because if we don't have a clear claim and we don't have evidence and examples for that claim, then we didn't really fully follow the instructions for the essay. You should always make sure right at the beginning that you have that clear claim in your first introductory paragraph. And then you can include the evidence and examples in those body paragraphs. Now for clarity, you can ask, does what I say in this essay flow? And when I reread my essay, is it clear what I'm trying to argue or communicate? Now here again, this is another place where it's really helpful to be able to read through your essay out loud, or at least mouth the words to yourself quietly. When you do that, you're more able to understand if there's really a flow to your essay, if it really makes sense. Sometimes when you reread it, you'll realize there are parts that are unclear or that maybe need to move to a different part of the essay or need to be taken out. And that's an important part of editing. Now, lastly, we'll look at quality. And for quality, you can ask, did I use my own words or clearly give credit and use quotation marks for another person's words? So making sure that this essay is written from your voice. Anytime you use a quote from the original text, you're giving credit to that original writer. Did I make the strongest argument I'm able to make in the amount of time and space I am given? Now, obviously you're not writing a thesis here for a you know, graduate level college course. That would be a very different type of writing and you would need to really go in depth. But for the time limit that you have and for the requirements that are given, did you make a strong argument? And lastly, did I choose vocabulary that shows off my talents as a writer? So not just choosing the most basic vocabulary, but maybe going back through and seeing if there are any words that you could replace with another more meaningful word. That's a great tool to really bump up the quality of your essay. Thank you so much for watching today and good luck on your writing test. We have so many more videos for you to check out here on the Helms Academy YouTube channel. And the best way to stay connected is to subscribe so you get the latest updates. We also can be found on Instagram and Facebook and on our website at helmsacademy.org.